Greetings, Creepsters, and welcome back to our book club. Um, I am posting this video a little late, but it wasn't intentional, even though it turns out that April 8th through the 14th is National Libraries Week. How cool is that? Libraries are such an amazing place. Uh, I am a huge fan of them, and if you like books, you probably are too. So I just wanted to give a little shout out to all the libraries, whether big city, little town, university libraries, all of them. Um, a big shout out to you and all that you do. And um, Creepsters, I ask that you frequent these places, that you volunteer, fundraise for them, help them out in any way that you can because libraries are such a magical place filled with magical books. And so we should help out as much as we can. And um, which leads me to our April pick for the book club, which turns out the author wrote this book in a library. And uh, the book itself is a book all about books. Um, so not to keep you guessing anymore, this month's pick for our book club is a classic. Fahrenheit 451 by none other than Ray Bradbury. Um, I got to say a little bit about this book because I first read it uh, back in school. And it's funny um, in a way. It's a cute little story. This book deals all about individuality, um, about not wanting to conform, um, about making your own choices, um, you know, not giving into society, not being told what to do. Uh, that, that's a very clear message in this book. And it was funny because uh, the class that I took, this was a required read to pass it. And I remember thinking, well, pff, I don't want to conform. And so what, you're saying if I don't read this, I don't pass the class? Well, yeah, pretty much. Um, but I did read it. <laughs> I did pass. And um, I'm so glad I did because it is truly one of my favorites. Um, and, and maybe you've already read it. Maybe it was part of your schooling. And um, if it was, then, then you will understand its, its power. And um, that is a great, great story. So uh, I ran into this book uh, at the bookstore a few months back. And when I saw it, I just knew I had to revisit it. And um, I'm so glad I did. There's a lot that I had forgotten about it and there's a lot that I did remember. Um, but bottom line, it's a really good read. And it makes you question uh, not only your existence, but, but, but everything about it, which, which is always good to do. Um, always think outside of the box, and that's what uh, Ray Bradbury does here. And although I usually pick a book that is scary, that has something to do with the paranormal or a creature or a demon, um, I, I don't want this to get shortchanged just because there aren't any ghosts in here, because there kind of is. Um, it is a haunting kind of book, and so that's why I picked it for um, the Nightlights Book Club. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you'll let me know what you think about it. And I hope you'll take a chance and, and um, take a chance on it. Give it a read. And um, support the libraries and books. So read on, creep on, and we'll see you next month.